reading some of your comments. Many of you do not like the A7 suited jam. Uh, you don't like it? Don't do it. It's up to you. You do you, I'll do me. How about that? All right, we got another limping his pimping shirt on. Limping his pimping because it's apropos for what we're playing today. Yay, running hot. <laughs> Click on GG. Oh, he did it. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta have thick skin to play this one. It's uh, it's wild. I've been going up now. See the top going down. If you didn't know now, know you know now. That's cause he could go on top. You not really top. You keep saying top. Well, I guess you let the top down. I've been going up now. See the top going down. If you didn't know now, know you know now. That's cause he could go on top. So, I'm laying out because the weather is exactly how I like it. Solid 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Love it. Oh, hey buddy, he's doing his business over there. You see little Rocky, little, little this guy running around, look at Chunky Monkey. Hey, Chunky Monkey, say hi to the people. Where are you going, you going back to the shade? Okay. Um, yeah, so no rush today. It woke up late, slept in, really needed it. It's uh, noon right now. I got a little, I got an order from Bronze Cafe. I got like a strawberry banana kind of smoothie deal as well as one of them they're vegan bacon and vegan cheese and vegan 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 everything uh breakfast sandwiches so today the plan well we'll talk about that in a bit let's talk about what's been going on another deep run last night that's 19 caches on the summer um uh, so many spots man like i that a7 of clubs like i mean yeah i guess i could three bet it but with the one that like i could three bet and then fall to a shove I was like, I don't know, maybe I wasn't counting right. I think I had 24 bigs, 23, 20, 23 bigs, I don't know. Could make it five and then fold for 18 more. Yeah. But the hand that really annoyed me was two hands before. I should have four bet jam. Cause like my whole intention at that point was like, all right, no, we're not laddering. We're gonna take, we're gonna push, you know, we're gonna try to, you know, get a big stack and win this thing. And I raised under the gun with King Queen. And the big blind, who was the chip leader, three bet it, and I just folded. And I think I should have just ripped it. I really do. I know it sounds crazy, but uh, there's a lot of reasons I don't want to get into as to why. But I really think I should have ripped it. Yeah. A couple king queens. Then I had another king queen, so I don't know. Like keep, The last three times I had king queen, I've been like folding in spots that were really close where I could just jam, but chose to take the... What I felt like was the right route, but maybe it was too conservative. I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. I'm going to soak in some rays, get my thoughts together on the day, because today there's the short deck, which I've been looking forward to. It starts at two, but it's not that big a deal to show up on time. I'll explain short deck on the drive in. Um, and then there's two online, which I think I'm going to skip. I think I'm just going to focus on the short deck. I, mean, I don't know. I've been doing good online, though, right? But the thing is, with the two, you have to bring the laptop out. And that's. And then, you know, focusing on the short tech, it's a lot. Doing three things at once, but we'll see. Oh, the heat's, I'm starting to feel it now. It's warming my ass up. As I said, we're not in a rush. It's morning, we're watching the vlog. We got ourselves a strawberry banana, yummy. I just wet myself. <laughs> Milkshake thing. And then we got this, let's take a look in here. It's the, my God, I'm such a, well, I can't say that word anymore. Hold on. I was gonna say the word spaz, but apparently that's not okay anymore. It's, they made new rules. So this is it here. That looks pretty damn good, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, we got a little bit of time to chill here. Get the puppies here. We, you know, no rush to get there. Reading some of your comments. Many of you do not like the A7 suited jam. Uh, <laughs> clearly, I there as I said, there is a possibility. And here, let me turn it around. So you can <clears throat> yeah, I had actually 20 picks, so I had even less. And as I said, sort of, you know, I'm not trying to ICM ladder. If you are trying to ICM ladder, you can probably go five and a half there four or five like five x or five big blinds and then fold for the jam which is annoying to do but probably it's if that's winning but so is the jam the jam overall is prince ev okay it is a plus ev jam right so that is not a punt okay i don't know I, this, that's a that's a silly statement that doesn't mean you know so for example that it has plus ev that doesn't mean from an icm perspective it is the optimal play in that regard like you know you could flat you could um you could three bet and fall to a jam, but punting will print EV, okay? And as I said, we were going aggro because I don't give a shit about eighth or ninth or something like that. We're trying to win the tournament. Yeah, anyway, let's move on from that. Hand. You don't like it? Don't do it. It's up to you. You do you, I'll do me. How about that? Say hi to the people one more time. Where were you? You were right here. You were right here. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is what we're going to do for a week, you know? 
after it's all over, this is it. This is gonna be home right there. Look at you, you're not even doing the belly thing right now. You're chill, you're tranquilo. You already got your belly rubs. What a life, what a life you got. He's always right up on me, this guy, <clears throat> always. On my lap, laying on me. That one, he does his own thing a little more. It's, and it's funny, because he's been like that <clears throat> ever since 10 weeks old, remember when we got him. He's more of a loner like that. You need a loving. <clears throat> Are you learning? Are you learning the trick from your brother Apollo? Show me your belly. Show me your belly trick. You learning it? Huh? It's a good boy. It's a good boy. All right, we got another limping his pimping shirt on. Limping his pimping because it's apropos for what we're playing today. Today is the 10K short deck. Here's the rundown. What the heck is short deck? What is it? Does anybody know? All right, if not, I'm gonna explain it to you. It's no limit hold'em with some caveats. They take out, there's no twos, threes, fours, or fives in the deck. So it's six through ace, okay? Well, other rules that are different is the ace can act as a five for a straight. So let's say you had ace six and the four, the flop was seven, eight, nine. You actually have five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? In addition to that, the other rule that's different, because there are less suits available, full houses will be much more common than flushes. So a flush beats a full house, okay? Now, with this game, equities run way closer, right? Just, it's insane. Like, ace-king against jack-10 suited is a total coin flip. Ace-10 suited against two kings, coin flip. It's like the hand equities run really, really close. The other thing to of note, well, we'll talk about how it works in the tournament. The way the blinds work, this is something that can be done in long deck. I think they call it long deck. Long dick. <laughs> long dick, short dick. I cracked myself up. Um, yeah, long deck is normal poker. I would love to see. We did it one year or two at the World Series. We had like an Annie only tournament, which is similar. I would love to see a format like this. So the way that it works is this. Say they're six-handed. Five people are the small blind. So it's small blind, small blind, small blind, small blind. The button is the big blind. So first player to act, he's got one chip in. If he wants to see the flop, he puts in another chip getting a really, really good price, or he can fold or he can raise, or she can too. So it doesn't matter, whatever. Or they can, I don't fucking know. They all, anybody can, whatever. Whatever you are, you can limp, you can raise, you can fucking fold, whatever. So, um, so yeah, and the way that the tournament works, because it is a very high variance game, you're gonna be getting in a lot. Like King Queen is a very good hand. King Jack is a good hand. Jack 10 is an excellent hand. Um, it, you know, aces is good. It's the best hand, but it's not that good. Not like in regular hold. So the, the way the structure works is you get 60K in chips. But what you'll do is you'll get 20,000 on the table and you get two lammers that represent, you know, your other 20. You can put them all on the table if you want and, and run your whole $60,000 stack. Or you can put it in each. So it's kind of like a, a rebuy within your own stack, but you can put them all on whenever you want. There is one re-entry in this one. So essentially you get a total of six bullets if you, if you play your cards right. Um, what I love about the game is it is a post-flop heavy game. There is a lot of limping. If you're in one of the early positions, let's say you get aces or ace-king or something like that, you don't raise with those. You limp with them as traps because you don't want to sort of give away your hand. You want other people to raise and then you can just jam it in their face or stuff like that. The one problem with the game as it's constructed right now for tournaments is ICM bubbles are annoying as hell. They're just, they're just broken because the chip leader gets to do whatever the hell he wants and nobody can call because no matter what they have, they're gonna have like a lot of equity against you. So you basically, every time you decide to gamble against the chip leader in that spot, you're like, whatever, 40, 40, 45% of the time you're gonna go broke, which is probably too high from an ICM perspective, but I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. So I'm gonna play. If I, I'm gonna be the chip leader. And if we're not, we're still gonna play. We'll do a chip craft today. We'll be right on time. We'll have some fun playing the great game of short games. Catch up. See you in my river trying to catch up. Running, see you running, trying to catch up. I see you gasping, leave you breathless, breathless. Catch up. Hey, boss. See you You're coming with me. One, well, not last ride, but we're getting pretty close. Let's go, chair of the people. Off to the short deck. I'll follow you. <laughs> all right, we're on time. My man here, passing out the time banks to all the players that are they're ready to play right now. There's myself, another gentleman or lady. We got two over here. Short deck experts, right? Two of them. And uh, 
what does it say on the clock? There are, so far, six of the best short deck players registered for this tournament. Dominic wants to play. Sure. Are you good at short deck? You, you gonna stake me? I'll be good. Question, Jack-10 suited versus ace-king-off. What's the favorite? Jack-10 most of the time, yeah. By what? By... 6%? Yeah, it's 51.49. Everything's 51.49 in this game. Pretty much. Yeah. Did you know that? Jack 10's huh? better. I knew that. Suited against Ace King, yeah. but not against Aces. Yes. Okay, that's all you need to know. We should put you in. 8, 9 suited. Okay. Me and you? Hey, yes. Heads up? Heads up, I guess. Okay, all in? Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, tournament must start. This is my starting table. We are three handed. This table is two, three handed. We got literally six to start, but you know, they'll, they'll trickle in. People just wake up late, do their thing, but. Uh, we're here for work early. Okay, look who's coming for work. Last year's champion. This is the guy who bluffed me last year, <laughs> and then I tried to bluff him and he called me. <laughs> all right, so we back for more. All right, we had the limp, limp, I raise, he calls, he's all in, I'm all in. Oh, you ain't all in, this is, this, this is short deck, people. This is short deck. All in, all in. What's he gonna do? Tanking, tanking, thinking, yummy. Yummy, yummy, right? <laughs> Big pot too, because I got good chips already. Ten seconds. All right, we got three people all in. Wow. He has ace king. He has queen ten. King king. All right, that's not a great spot, but it's okay. Fifty fifty. Yeah. What do we got there? He's got a straight and a flush draw. <laughs> I got three kings. You have the straight. Straight. Cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I might win some money on the side. Maybe. I think okay. Right. Yeah, running hot. <laughs> like on GG. Okay. He did it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It worked out okay. We, we chewed up Brewers, so we got we ended up making a profit on the hand. But uh, could have been crazy if the board paired. All right. Off to the first break we go. We got 94-4. Had a good first level, good second level. I had queens a couple times early. I had king, queen, of diamonds, and flopped the flush in a nice little spot. Uh, you saw the king's hand that we filmed. That one was interesting. We got the percentages and all that stuff. Because they're, they're very different. This game is very fascinating and unique. Again, I love it because limping is pimping. And that's what you see a lot of. It just makes sense to limp a lot. Especially in early positions. I mean, pretty much the way that I play the game, I don't have an under-the-gun raising range at all. I limp entirely all my hands. I don't ever... Because basically, I don't want to give away... I mean, you, you, you can have a raising strategy under the gun and stuff, but I don't. I like to limp early. It just plays well with how I like to play. And a lot of time we'll be limp raising, limp jamming. I do have a hand breakdown, which is kind of interesting. We'll share as soon as we get to the steam room. We'll make a nice little coffee. I'm having a blast. I love this game. I know it's not hugely popular. We're up to like 30 players now. It'll end up with 100 and something, but it's a good, fun gambling game. All right, let's get to it. Again, you got to sort of understand how the game works to understand a little of this, a little of that, but, but here we go. So the ante is 100, okay? It means everyone ante is 100, the big blind ante is 200. I'm under the gun with two queens. And I, as I was just saying, I limp, right? Folds around to a player in the cutoff who makes it 1,400. We're pretty deep at this point, uh, 20,000. I don't want to limp re-raise queens that much. Get it in against ace king, ace, aces, eight, you know, aces, kings, race king, and even, any, and there's no hand where like, woo, queens. Sort of want to see a flop with this hand. So we do. Comes king, queen, nine. Decent flop. I check, he bets 1,200. I call. Now the turn's a nine. It's a great card for us. Uh, we're only dead against king, king, or nine, nine. But again, in short deck, those hands are much more prevalent. You know, you have to worry about them a lot more than you would in regular holding. I'm not worried, though. I'm looking, I'm excited. Now the river's another nine. This is a good card, in a way, because now what it does is it gives him, if he has a king, let's say he had ace, king, he's got nines full of kings. If he had aces, now he's got nines full of aces. So the question is, do I bet targeting those hands right? Or do I check? He's going to bet those hands anyway, but I also open him up to potentially bluff. Like if he thinks I had a hand like Jack 10 or something like that, maybe he turns his hand to a bluff or maybe he just, it has a bluff. Like he has ace, Jack, ace, 10 himself. So I decide to check again and he checks ace, queen. So as it turns out, I probably could have got a little value, but not a whole lot. Um, but anyway, it's such an interesting game. You know, there's, there's so much to it. You see the guy with the queen ten of spades, everyone must be like, what's he doing? Calling with queen ten after two all ends. It was fine. It was fine. You look at the price on his hand, he's doing just fine with you know the money that's in there. Um well actually he's probably a small dog overall. But whatever. Gamble! No gamble, no future.
It's a fun game. Break time means snack time. I got this one picked out. We're going with the mezcla. This is the Peruvian cocoa peanut butter yumminess. You can get these with a promo code Phoenix15 or something like that. They're really good, tasty. Get yourself one. Mezcla. That's fine. Catch up. See you in my river trying to catch up. Running, see you running trying to catch up. I see you guys. Look at this classy guy. Look how he eats. Look at this. This is beautiful. Always <laughs> Japanese food looks beautiful, right? I don't know if it is good, but it like <laughs> looks beautiful. Is that Japanese food? Yeah, this is called uh, unagi. Unagi? <laughs> that's like, <laughs> unagi, that's, unagi so that's like a fish, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very pretty, huh? Unagi? Yes. That's unagi? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, unagi. Ichiban unagi. <laughs> Ichiban unagi. unagi. <laughs> Ringo kurasai. That's all I got. That's all I know. Give me an Ichiban apple. Bakayaro. Ichiban bakayaro. Ringo kurasai. Give me an apple. That's all I ever learned in Japanese. <laughs> I just repeat it over and over. <laughs> this is a Japanese game right here. <laughs> How do you know who the true grinders are? You see the guys in the short deck with a laptop. That's UV over here. Do we have any other grinders with us? Do we have another? We do. It looks like Jesse Lohn is here, playing here the short deck, doing the double table. Next Let's year, go. Next drafting me for sure. I, I, so, I feel sick to my stomach I didn't take it. Genuinely. Good job. All right. Instead, I got Brian freaking Kim. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna probably join him later in the laptop. Why not? Fine. This last year's champ all in every hand. Did you win one? Yes! Finally! <laughs> Finally, back in action. <laughs> On second rebuy. Look at this, look at this guy. Look at this guy. You did it, buddy, the entire plate. I'm very impressed. You seem like really skinny. I didn't think you'd be able to finish it. You got a big appetite. Good job, must have been good. He finished the whole thing. Can you believe it? He finished the whole thing. Good job. Bravo. All right, we got the classic. Two queens, my friend has ace king over here. Spades, spade or ace or nine. Ooh, missed everything. You win. I think you got me covered, yeah? I think so. On the first bullet. There you go. I got uh, 26, 29. Yeah, I got only 30. Okay. Chips, please. All right, second bullet. We've got king, queen against ace, queen. 50 50 ish. Help. <laughs> Nine or an ace? Nope. All right. More chips, please. He says, I need okay. the camera. Okay, yeah. I'm all in, yeah. Yeah, I'm all in. You got a good hand? Oh, shit, again. King, queen again. All right, this is third bullet. I haven't won one of these yet. Maybe I'm due. Okay. Queen. Shit. <laughs> All right, I guess. Oh, I had the club too. Holy fuck. Okay, rebuy. Back to the rebuy cage we go. As you can see, that queen's hand against ace king. It is a flip pre flop, but on that flop, three to one favorite. Um, pretty close because I had the spade um, and he didn't. So if he catches an ace for king, this is spade, he's out. He loses because I make the flush. And then just had like short chips because you, you know that's how it works with the bullets. Just like you want to pick up the annies. So I moved in with. Uh, King Queen a couple times, ran into something better, but you know, I had that last one. I had him so dead. Well, no, he could hit a 10 for a straight. That wasn't a club. So he had three outs plus two ace. He had five outs, but five outs sounds like, oh no, how do you hit a five outer? And there's only 32, 36 cards or something, whatever, you know, you count. Um, so anyway, three buy. But this, the key pot for us was obviously the Queens. If we win that, we were big pimping and now we're rebuying, so. Yeah, this is, you gotta live and die. You just gotta, you, you gotta, what's the word I'm looking for? You gotta have thick skin to play this one. It's, uh, it's wild. All right, we got another all in on our next bullet. He has ace, ace. Okay, I have yeah, ace, king, so it's 50 50. Yeah, 50 50 again. That was interesting. Okay, we just need a 10. And there's tons of them. There's so many 10s available. That's not one of them. Okay. All right. But this is essentially like bullet number five. He's got it all. This is like bullet five. Okay, good luck, buddy. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Okay. You have a king queen is fair fight this time. Oh, this yeah. is a 50 50. 50 50. I know everything 50 50. I follow the king, though. Okay. 
Oh, oh. 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 50 50, let's chop it. Okay, I'll take my money back, you take yours back. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, he's yeah, after the flop. Okay, Queens against Ace. Another 50 50. How about 50 50? Let's see. 50 50. Here we go. I think Ace is Good flop. Look at the rebound. Oh, good sorry. turn. Give him the ace of hearts. No, I win one. Hey, <laughs> throw the confetti. Yeah. Throw the party. We finally Need doubled one. Buddy. There we go. Fucking ace Finally. queen. What do you think that's good against me? Shit. <laughs> you know I have it when I go in. <laughs> What's up, Floss? You having ace fun? Queen. Yeah, you had, you had 50%. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the bullet five. We finally got a good one. We got, we got, got problems. Got we got trouble. He's, He's got, got ace ten. I got ace king. He's got the outs. He's a nine or a ten. Oh, oh well, King wins. Did I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Look at that shirt. Come show the people the shirt. That's contender's clothing. You could be just like this gentleman. Poker brat. Look at that. <laughs> okay. I win. I have him covered. I, I have him covered. You don't count my money. Give it to me. All of it. <laughs> All right. We're back in action now. Big pimping. All right, we got 75-5 after, on our second bullet, whatever. But that's, we still have a lammer or whatever, the whole deal. 75-5, and we're gonna go to get our laptop and do it. Why not? Everybody else is doing it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what's happening. One and it's no runner. I tell my babies I need all of the hugs. The blessings hit, I got more than enough. My baby all right, this is a beautiful sight. We got our laptop set up. We got Wasp. Look at short decking it, lab topping it, double team. That's a team player. Ben Lamb just woke up. He's a complete fucking piece of shit. <laughs> okay, that? well, there's Tell that. Him I said it. Well, you're, he's going to see it because it's in Good, the vlog perfect. now. That's what I want. Okay, got it. Okay. He's all right, going. he limp got us he's again. Going. I call. Yeah, I call. Ace King, Ace Jack. Okay. Okay. 50 50. <laughs> 50? No, 10 is a good Okay, oh. now we want him to have a king or a queen is fine. Oh. No, I made the jack. Jack or a 10? Okay. I hit the jack. That was stupid. Okay. Mm. All right, we got gambles three way. You have big pair? No. Yes. I have. You have jack 10. I have ace Shit. king. You have king king. Oh, you okay, dead. we're not worried about this guy. We just need to beat he's, the. He's we need to find a way to win the jack 10 against Juanda. Big pot. Part, All right. Key king pot. In this ace part. in the window would be nice. Eight, nine. That's right. What do you got? Jacks already? Half way there. You got the ace of spades. Okay. Oh, no, now we need an ace. Really you still beat me? Fuck. Oh, you didn't even oh. make a pair? <laughs> no, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you I lost the king. Even? Jerk. Yep. Mm. You have me covered, yeah? 30. 40. Yeah. Alright, well, we have one bullet. You have 50. Just give me 50. Alright, 50 50, me and my horse. Oh, you, this one actually is 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> I have aces in all of them. He's got kids. Yeah. King well, you, you can bust me in. That's fine. I'll just go to my room and King's play King's online King's poker, I guess. 50-50. Okay. I don't want to hit queen now. I think they your favorite. favorite now. King? I can't. All right. 20,000. I can't breathe. These I just have aces against kings <laughs> in the online world. You are 20,000? Yeah, 20. All right. Thank you. Uh, All right. We have an all-in and a call King, on the flop. King, yeah. King Jack eight, he has King Queen. Ah, never mind. Ah. Boring. Or do you have the big club? I have the big club. Club, club. Nah, chop it up. Nice hand. Mm. That's a true 50 50. Except on the flop, I was still favored. <laughs> we gambling. Mm. Short chips. Right, we're short. We're gambling. Right. We have the right, worst, right. best hand. That's okay. That's okay. I need the straight. I have 50 50. 50 50. <laughs> Everybody likes 789 is live. You can't win. You cannot. No, you don't touch my straight. 789. Good spot. What are you guys, queens? Oh shit, I didn't see you in there with queens. Huh? Nikki has queens. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a problem. Kinda. Oh, we need just a couple jacks here. What a stupid game. Look at this. It's fun, but stupid. All right, let's wait and see the oh, all in for the main. Okay, that's a big pot. I win all that. That's pretty just good. Two is. Big pot. Jack 10's supposed to always Ooh. win. Okay, Ooh. I win. Oh, Does anybody have good. spades? Oh, yeah, spades. Jets. They both have spades. Oh. Oh. Nine? Oh, I will. Nobody won? I think everybody won. Right. He won. Everybody won. So I didn't win. I okay, see. that's that. End of the Aces tournament for me. All right, so we're here in the steam room. What a perfect fit to the last little bit of the World Series of Poker. It's just rebuy madness all in here. In the freaking online, I didn't even show you this because I wasn't focused on it. I had two tens against two sixes for heaps. 
in the 500 after the rebuy period, whatever, pretty deep, and then he had a six on the river. Uh, and in the 777, we're on our last bullet with, what is it, 10, 11, 12 bigs, and that's it for the day. The uh, short deck did not go well. Uh, it is fun, you know, it's a great game. I really enjoy it, it's just, you know, you, you really evict. So the Jack-10 off hand, that's actually a good spot. I'll explain why. So when one player goes all in early and the other player calls, the cards they likely have um, are shared. So if it's aces, ace-king, like kings, all that, that's, that's good for us. Because when those cards are out of the deck, it's crazy because there's so few cards in the deck, the Jack-10 becomes even better, especially getting like two to one. I'm a much, I'm a big money favorite. Uh, then, of course, you know, behind us, Nikki Shulman picks up queens, but it is what it is. My hand is very, very live, as, as odd as that sounds, like any seven, eight, nine. And the thing is, with only six up, six is up, Jack-10 makes a straight a lot. And if it doesn't, it makes two pair. It makes a full house. It makes, it's going to make something, something, especially when they're all sharing cards. So, and I only had 26K and the, the button and the button manny was 1200. So it's like 20, well, 40 annies or whatever is the way they describe it. Yeah. in a good gamble spot. So now we're just nursing this little 10 big blind stack in the online. Kind of rah, rah, blah, blah. I was really hoping to do well on the short deck. I really think that they should probably have two rebuys in that because it is so volatile. A lot of people were saying that. A lot of the Asian guys were like, well, how come I'm the only one rebuy? I want to gamble. <laughs> you know, and there's like not enough. Uh, yeah. All right. Going to screw around on this thing for a bit and then head home. 10.20 p.m. I'm at home. Burger and fries on the way. Wifey happily chilling on the couch we're about to watch bachelorette, bachelorette. and she was so excited because there's a 95 year old guy no. he's like 70 something he's probably gonna 71. be like he's probably like some super stud who's athletic has businesses perfect teeth the whole deal i hope so i hope so yeah, yeah she it's likes called older the men. golden years she likes older men the golden it's yeah it is the okay. golden years Except, oh what am i doing i'm showing my underwear oops whatever i'm wearing freaking contenders whatever you guys he's see always stuff. trying to show his junk to you guys <laughs> yeah whatever so that's it this is where we're gonna finish we're gonna finish at home relax we got two events left to play they're gonna be turboies tomorrow and the day after be honest with you right now i'm spent i'm excited to spend some time with wifey watching a really silly show that we both enjoy see you in my river trying to catch up running see you running trying to catch up I see you guys been leaving breathless, breathless. Catch up, see you in my review trying to catch up. Running, see you running trying to catch up. I see you guys been leaving breathless, breathless.